Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. Today, I have with me representatives of the Belmont Innocence Club for Criminal Justice. I have Megan Kornberg, the president of that club. I also have Claire Ladiak, Shani Getz, and Alyssa Isk uh, Iskakov. Megan, let's start with you. Can you uh, simply give us an overview of what the uh, Belmont uh, Club for Innocence Club for Criminal Justice is? Yeah, so we are a group of Belmont residents who we meet every Friday. We work to educate the community about wrongful convictions and other flaws in the criminal justice system. And we take that information that we learn and we use it to advocate for reform of the flaws in the justice system. Alyssa, how, how did you get involved in a club like this? What drew you to, uh, to an effort like this? Well, this is a question Megan can answer because she was actually the one who got me into this club. So, Megan? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, this club came to be because I believe my freshman year we had a visit from the New England Innocence Project from an exoneree because our French teacher was actually involved with the Innocence Project. And I thought that their story was absolutely fascinating and that we as a community in Belmont aren't really doing enough to address the issues that we see. And, you know, I thought we could be doing more and why not start with a local club, educate people, because then, you know, change starts at the individual level. You can make change in your own community and that eventually will build up over time to bigger scale of reform. Claire, it, it seems as though this is a topic that people can talk a lot about and never really do something. Can, uh, can you talk about uh, uh, what the members of the club uh, seek to accomplish? Yeah, so we are really just interested in just educating ourselves and not only ourselves, but just um, members of the community, especially just other students at the high school um, I personally didn't know a lot about wrongful convictions before Megan asked me if I would like to be a part of the club. And I think, honestly, just the main thing that we want to do is just get the word out, um, just advocate and let people know that, like, even though you're only one person, um, everyone can have an impact and we can just make a change together. And, and Shani, my understanding is that this isn't a club that is... Uh simply for high school students, but it's a community effort. Can you talk about that? Yeah, for sure. It's not just for high school students, although mainly our member base is high school students because we send a lot of emails and are very connected to the members of our high school. We have this club open to the rest of our community because we hope to make this bigger than just a high school club. We want to have an impact on everyone around us. And um, back to Claire, we did a canvassing fundraiser, fundraiser recently that she can elaborate on. Yeah, so um, back in November, actually, we did a canvassing fundraiser around Belmont. We got together some of our club members, socially distanced, of course, and we just went around to different Belmont residents and educated them on our group and on wrongful convictions. And we handed out some of our information and we actually were able to raise $300 for the New England Innocence Project and that amount was actually matched. So it was a really great opportunity to just spread our information and um, raise awareness. Uh, Alyssa, let me come back to you. A out of all the things that you could choose to devote your time to in high school, you chose this. Uh, what, uh, what draws you to, uh, uh, to being involved? Sure. So like many other members have said, Megan was the one who came up to me. And before I had no idea that this was actually a problem. But when Megan came up to me and basically started talking about how there's this huge population of prisoners who are actually wrongfully convicted, it was really like I took it to heart. Like this is a serious problem in our country and I want to help fix it. And by joining this club, it gave me a chance to have a leadership position in a club that's uh, calling for change. Megan, we, we talk about the this as though everybody knows what, what you're referring to. Uh, uh, can you refer to or can you tell us what the, the problem is? Yeah, so there are 
a massive amount of flaws in the criminal justice system. And a lot of those flaws do contribute to a lot of wrongful convictions. And obviously people being incarcerated for things that they did not commit, that's not fair, that's not just. And if the criminal justice system is broken in this way, then that's really not a justice system. And do you, do you work with, uh, with other people? And let me tell you the, uh, as I shake my finger at you, uh, <laughs> let me tell you the, uh, the question behind the question here. I, you folks aren't simply a bunch of high school students who have decided to sit around in a club that you're working uh, uh, on real issues. Yeah. So we have a social justice by the numbers class at BHS, and we've worked with them a couple of times behind the scenes um, on wrongful conviction day. We work together to make presentations to share to each of our individual populations. Um, and so that's sort that's sort of more the behind the scenes stuff that we see. Um, like we said, we also talk to our community a bit more. So we are involved with that as well. And we are in the process of hosting a forum that is gonna be coming up in mid, late March. Okay, and th that forum will be directed to whom? So that forum is gonna be directed to anyone and everyone from Belmont, the surrounding community. This isn't an exclusive issue, it is a national issue. So we wanna get as many people involved as possible because again, this isn't just an us problem. This is a much bigger problem than we realize it is. And, you know, I started talking to people and I started to put this club together and I realized a lot of people don't know about this. And if you don't know about it, you're sort of living in the state of ignorance. And an ignorant society doesn't really foster change, especially the change and reform that we need. Um, so that's why we're opening it up to the general public. Anyone is welcome because they are there to learn. Shani, I see you nodding your head down there. If you had uh, uh, one thing that you would say the community should know, which it probably doesn't know, what, what would you say? Um, I think I'd say that they should know that they don't know many things. Everyone should be aware of their ignorance and aware that they need to learn more so that they know more about the surrounding world and know more about the problems in the system so that they can help make change and help do the right thing. So this understanding that you actually have a lot of oblivion and a lot of ignorance is what sparks this, this desire for change. Claire, I want to come back to you for a minute. Uh, how does the world or how is the world different because of what uh, your club is doing? Well, I mean, I love to believe that our like club is changing the world, but I don't know if we're doing that quite yet. But I just think that honestly, the most important thing, even if we reach 10 people, 20 people, um, that many more people know about uh, what's going on in our country and just the world in general. And I'm like, I don't think any of us are in it to like, just teach thousands and thousands of people, although that would be great. But I think just honestly, the most important thing is just making sure everyone is aware of this and then they can educate themselves further and then they can let other people in their life know about it. Alyssa, I want to come back to you and give you the opportunity also to, uh, to explain what you would hope the community uh, could learn from the activities uh, of a club uh, such as this? Well, I'd, I'd be happy if only one person took away that there are people who are wrongfully convicted in our country and for them to just learn that there are flaws in our justice system that need fixing. And I think that's just enough for me that to foster for, um, to get this like curiosity about what's wrong in our country and in our justice system and to want to make a change and learn more. Megan, you talked about uh, the upcoming public forum. If people were interested in that, where should they be looking to, uh, uh, to get more information when in more information becomes avail available? Yeah, so we are gonna be posting on our Instagram page at Belmont Innocence Club. 
and we have a website that Alyssa can tell you more about. And we will also be posting flyers around town as we get uh, closer to the date. Alyssa, the ball's back in your court. Tell us sure. about your website. So like Megan said, you can reach this website by going onto our Instagram at Belmont Innocence Club. And there we have a link to our card, which is Belmont Innocence uh, dot card with two R's dot co. And by going to this link, you get to see all of our resources, including our website, our Instagram, where to email us and such. So if you ever want to reach out or learn more, that's definitely the place to go. That's great. Well, thanks for joining us today. Um, we've been speaking with the leadership of the Belmont Innocence Club for Criminal Justice. We've been speaking with Megan Kornberg, Claire Lodiak, Shanice, uh, Shanice Getz, and Alyssa Iskakava. Thanks for joining us. You've been watching News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I'll talk with you again next time.